Hello YouTube. I know I sound like someone familiar, but you know. Um, so I have changed a lot since we have last talked. Um, a lot of stuff in this car in particular. For one, I now have a bed in the back seat. I took the, the back cushion out and I built a bed frame and uh, put a air mattress on it um, that is not custom fit and it's folded up so that it doesn't expand too much. Um, my camera equipment and gear is now in the front seat of the car. Very much easier to grab and get to. Uh, it's all a mess right now, but I will fix that later. Um, I also have my clothes and my chargers and my laptop in my front seat now. Um, I need to get better about cleaning my cameras because I noticed that on the last couple of time lapses that I put up, um, and on some of the stills that I've been taking that um, dust spots are a really big problem of mine and I've uh, talked to Michael Blinsky on his live stream the other day go check him out he does Monday night chats and they're very interesting um, I just chatted with him for a second and you know he gave me some pointers on you just have to clean it every day um, but yeah, so that's what's changed. I am right about to pull out of my driveway and head to Oklahoma City. I don't know where I'm going to end up. I could end up in McCook or I could end up in Del Rio. Um, it's really all comes down to what the models say and what surface ops are telling me and what my intuition says. Um, intuition tells me Del Rio and up to through the Texas Panhandle is in a better position synoptically, but models and mesoscale environment says that early initiation is going to mess that up. So uh, Sand Hills is going to have the best chance for really photogenic supercells, maybe a slight tornado chance as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to go Sand Hills. That's what I'm favoring right now, but I don't know for sure. But anyways, that's just a little update. I'm um, right about to leave, and I will update and talk to y'all later.